There we go. That's a better fish. Decent smallmouth. Jeez, I can't even do anything. <laughs> nice fish. Hey folks, Casey Canop here. We're fishing in my favorite spot, the mighty Fox River. Fishing for smallmouth with some topwater plugs today. Got a nice smallmouth right here. Just got started on the topwater. Oh, nice, nice fish. fish. He was uh, not getting away there. That's how you want them to eat it, right there. Both hooks gone. Today I'm fishing with Chris Bishop from Missouri. Chris, what are we doing today? Well, we're gonna hammer some banks with some topwaters. The river is crazy low. And, uh, you know, we kind of planned on going all in on the topwater bite anyways, but I don't think we have much of an option <laughs> the way the water is. So it's a great start. Looking forward to seeing what we can do with some pencils and some poppers. Absolutely, looking forward to it. Whoa, there he is. Nice. That was kind of cool. Yeah. Saw that fish the entire time. I think it's a decent fish, too. Yeah, looked like it. Wow. Oh. That was a very, very small window to get that bait. Nice, large man. Oh, yeah. I've been waiting for uh, one of those nice green ones. It's a healthy fish. That was really cool. Well, Chris, brown or green, I'm fine with either one, so. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if they're this size. Yeah, that's a nice chunk. Pretty fish, too. Absolutely. There's, on the po first popper fish, second popper bite. But not a giant, but a healthy, chunky. River smallmouth? Smallmouth. He's a little bit darker than the one on the back of my shirt. Chris, why'd you end up throwing the popper? Well, these fish are ultra tight to the structure. So I've been throwing a pencil and I love to throw a pencil. I'd rather throw a pencil than a popper in general. But this is that unique situation where the fish are so tight to the structure and there's a lot of grass. The popper allows you to slow it down, keep the bait in the strike zone for longer. But you see it stays in that strike zone, you know, easily twice as long as the pencil does. Cause once you're more than three or four feet away from the shore in this fishery, you're out of the strike zone. Got them shoulders to them. Nice fish, too. Yeah, right where he was supposed to be. Large mouth, too. Ooh, nice one. Yep. That was cool. Getting right about a foot off the shore, one twitch, and sucked her down. One hook in her. Ooh, just on the corner of the mouth. Barely had her hooked. There we go. Nice fish. Thanks, buddy. There's one. There's one on the popper. It's like a smallmouth. Sounds like a good blow up. Sometimes those smallmouth just yeah. come out of nowhere and. Yeah, that was off the bank a little bit, which is a little bit different than what we've been doing all day. Yep, smallmouth. Nice little chunky river smallmouth with a mouthful of treble hooks. Super clean fish. What are you? A pike. Is it? I think so. I thought it was a bass that just blew up. Really? It's a big bass if it is. It is a bass. Yeah, I thought I saw the... That wasn't that fish, though, I don't think. It's Ooh, a nice, nice smallmouth. Nice smallmouth out in the middle. Ooh. Oh, he's hooked good. Thank goodness. Well, that was a surprise. That was kind of cool. <laughs> I threw at some kind of carp slash pike slash mystery fish. It was pushing water across the surface, and uh, this guy just, sometimes it's better to be lucky than, than good, and that was this one of these cases. But, you know, tough, pretty tough conditions. I mean, water extremely low, hasn't rained up here in Wisconsin in a while. Water temp's getting pretty warm. Bluebird skies, no wind at all. And this is one of the better chunks that we've got today, and they were all on the what I would consider finesse topwaters, which is 3DRX popper and the 3DRX pencil. And just landing them as close to structure on shore as you can, landing it real light, light tackle, 10 pound super braid, eight pound Yozuri hybrid, fooling some pretty smart smallmouth in some pretty tough conditions, so. Chris, you literally cannot get your, cannot get your bait close enough. No. I pulled it off the mud bank, did two pops with it and this guy just absolutely annihilated it. Yeah, that was a cool bite. That's what these fish are doing though. Strong waiting, bite, big largemouth. They're waiting for frogs to come down and 
the sounds of it, it sounds like he uh, had it pretty good. So <laughs> there was a pretty good pop on the surface there. That was cool. There's just something about throwing top waters and keeping the electronics off and just fishing with your eyes, and it's a lot of fun. Good bud. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Two hooks in them. Sucked it right off the surface. Perfect. Chris, I've never seen the water this low, yeah. but I'm sure glad you brought those topwater baits because it might have been tough fishing otherwise. Yeah, it was key, man. We caught a couple of really nice fish, had a lot of bites, had a lot of misses, you know, typical topwater fishing, but... Chris, where can we find more uh, information on your Zuri baits? So check us out at www.yo-zuri.com or check out our YouTube page. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, lots of good information in a lot of places on social media. So stay up with you know, what's new and what's going on with Yozuri and, you know, always good stuff we've got coming out, so check it out. Thanks a lot, I appreciate it. Absolutely, thank you. Casey Kanat, Midwest Outdoors, we'll be right back.